I can't believe I'm making this video. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Jessica McKenzie. I am a Southern California native and I'm an opera singer. So, y'all, I, I really cannot believe that I'm making this video today. This video is a video of me singing in a masterclass for Miss Lisette Oropesa. When I tell you that I was not expecting this opportunity to come, I was not expecting for this opportunity to come to me. So this is how it happened. My friend Madison texted me with this link and it was a link to a website saying that Oropesa is giving master classes through Zoom. And I don't know if she announced this on Instagram or Twitter or whatever social media is out there. I don't have that. So I'm usually always on the late train for any information that is lingering out there, right? I'm always the last one to know. When I saw that link, I flipped out because I was like, no way, I love this, this girl's voice. And so I clicked on the link, was just looking, browsing through her website, and I came across this page that said you can submit an application or a video in order to have the opportunity to sing for one of her master classes. I, I literally stared at that page for like five minutes just in disbelief. A, I only had, I think I had 24 hours to submit it. So I don't know how long that, that website was up, but I don't know if it was something telling me like to do it, but I just stared at that, that site for a cool minute. And I was like, what, what am I going to do? I don't have a video that I want to submit. Of course, nothing's perfect, but I was like, the one video that I do have, so many things could have gone differently. I could have done this note more piano. This line could have been a little more legato, whatever the case may be. So I text my friend Madison and I said, listen, I have this one video that I think is like the best of the videos that I have. Can I send it to you? And can you just give me your honest feedback, right? Because when I shot this video, the recording department at my school sent it back to me in a final video and was like, here you go. And I had not sent that final video to my coach or my, my teacher. Nobody has really seen it. So I sent it to her and I said, just give me your honest feedback. She watched it and she just said, send it. She's like, it's good, just send it. So I built up enough courage to submit that application with the video. And about two days later, I got an email saying, congratulations, you have been selected to sing in a masterclass. Y'all, if I had a wig, it would be out the window. I, I could not believe that I was reading that email. I, I just sent it on a whim. Like, who knows how many people had submitted a video, right? And so I was like, oh, if I get the opportunity, great. If not, you know, nothing you can do about it. You just move on. So when I got that email, I immediately started freaking out. I was like, okay, oh, oh, work mode, right? Which leads me to this video that I'm giving you today. I just wanted to give a little bit of a background of how that process was, what I went through in order to get to the day where I got to perform and sing for her. And without further ado, this video is the actual video of me singing in the masterclass. Um, they were not recording the Zoom masterclasses themselves. We were given permission to record our own section. Um, and so that is what I did on my phone. Um, it's not like the best quality as if it was coming from the actual computer, but my phone got a really good shot of um, me singing and of her commentary and everything she had to, to say and what uh, we worked on and you can see it all. So without further ado, this is the video. I presented the aria, Eccomi in lieta vesta o quante volte, Giulietta's aria from I Capuletti e i Montecchi by Bellini. So. Let's go ahead and watch this. Up next, Jessica McKenzie bringing us some Bellini richness. Hey, Jessica. <laughs> 
Hi. Hi. Oh, hello. I love your dress. Oh, thank you. Wow. One time exciting. I can get dressed up. Why not? Hey, you know what? We've got to find a reason to get dressed up in this quarantine, <laughs> girlfriend. Okay, Miss Jessica, what are you going to be singing for us today? Eccomi in lieta vesta and o quante volte. Marvelous. One of my favoriteest, favoriteest artists. Okay, whenever you are ready, take it away.
Wow, Miss Jessica. That was really, really stunning. Thank you. <laughs> it was really beautiful. So, so, so beautiful. So many incredible things. I really appreciated all the time that you took for all the cadenzas. You really, you let all the notes blossom. You let all the notes go somewhere or come from somewhere. Beautiful dynamics. Fabulous pianissimo. And my biggest compliment besides all of that, the best thing that you did that I was like, yes, that shows a great singer. You respected the rhythms. You respected the eighth note pickups. Oh, and you sang them correctly. Almost nobody does that. My coach oh. got on me about those eighth notes against the triplets. She would not yes. let me leave a lesson if I didn't get that right. <laughs> well, it's it's incredibly important because it feels, it's one of those things about bel canto that is, inc that is often kind of glossed over, but mm -hmm. it's notated that way for a reason. And when you differentiate it, it makes a difference. It adds to the line and you did that and just brava for that, Jessica. That was such a great, special, extra thing that you added that so many people don't do yeah thank Bravo. you now i i very little to say okay honestly because it was it's just so damn beautiful um most of the things the thoughts i had were at the very beginning of the recit mm -hmm. i felt like you can connect the you could sing a lot more legato this particular recit doesn't have to feel um like an actual recit it could yeah. feel like more like part of the aria so you're at for me in can really be together. Okay. It's all already an aria. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. try for me? Of course. <laughs> Take all the 
time that you need. Mm -hmm. Just make sure that you're singing not on the upper half of the, your support, that you're singing also on the lower yeah. half of your support. Yeah? You want to try mm -hmm. it one more time? Yeah. Just yeah. once, because I felt like I know you're trying to sing piano, and I do want you to sing that piano, mm -hmm. but I don't want you to sacrifice any of the spin in the in the vowel. Okay. Do you know? Yes. Yes. just have to give a huge, huge, huge thank you and shout out to Miss Oropesa and her husband Steve because it's just incredible that the both of them are working so hard and presenting these opportunities for artists in a time like this. 
it was it was just so nice to have something to look forward to despite the despite the climate going on right now and so i am going to end this video on a super high positive note i i just feel like this makes me want to work hard like i've always been a crazy hard worker like putting everything first and putting myself last and so this has just amped that level up even more i want to literally practice technique i want to understand vocal ped even more i want to dive into different composers and what their earliest works were like compared to the i want to learn and absorb everything and i feel like in school it's so hard to be able to really dive that deep into things like that because you're so busy trying to get all of the classes you need done, fulfill all of your units, go to night practices and rehearsals and performances and be a supportive friend to other people, other singers and all of their recitals. You just have this like kind of go, go, go mentality, especially when you're traveling so far to school like I was doing. It just took up so much time. And so I just feel this downtime that I have after being done with school and not working right now, I just feel such a huge amount of self-motivation to just get things done and to learn. And this masterclass just amped that up for me even more. Yeah, so I'm gonna end this video here. I really hope that you enjoyed this experience as much as I did. Um, go watch her masterclasses, they're amazing. Um, and stay tuned for next week's video. I really look forward to seeing you all later. Bye-bye.